me. And Danica Patrick has been checked every release and certainly not the way you wanted to finish out your NASCAR career. What was it like the first half of the race for you? Pretty decent. The car was a lot better than it was in the in the uh, duel. It was um, a lot better in practice. So uh, Tony Ari Jr., my crew chief, did an awesome job. The guys on the whole the whole team did a really good job. I I know we pulled this together kind of you know not that long ago, a month ago, and um, that's a that's a tall order to get a car ready for a super speedway that's competitive. But it was, and so. Um, you know, I said earlier today that, you know, I feel like the uh, the whole thing was picture perfect with GoDaddy on the car and it being that green again, but um, it, uh, it just wasn't, uh, just wasn't uh, meant to be, I guess, today. But, you know, I, I am proud that we, we raced the whole race, you know, other than a little bit at the end of that first stage when it just looked silly with all the cars with no tires and tires. Um, other than that, we raced it and it was, it was competitive. So um, that's all you can do. I mean, that's the, that's the gamble about Daytona is it can go so well and it can go so well. Awful. So I'm grateful for everything. Thank you to all the fans. And uh, yeah, still got one more. It's not a stock car, but still got one more. We're thankful for Danica. Mike? And that'll be the Indy 500 for Danica, NASCAR's most successful female driver ever. Yeah, driving for Ed Carpenter. That should be a fast car.